they what they want see what they want to study is the plan of uh, how how the, this country is ready uh, prepared to 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 make countermeasure or, or to, to some something prior to something happens mm. that Japanese way is reaction after something happens right it's it's more like okay I mean there's not a very usually not a very clear objective mm. um, not a very clear plan long-term plan and that leads to <clears throat> making snap decisions very big decisions mm. jumping in there and then finally when you have made the decision and you're you're executing on it then rapidly improving on on your operation so that it becomes a viable option so what i see happening with a lot of multinationals in japan they basically make the jump uh they they postpone um making strategic investments because they don't think strategically that they think okay we can wait we can wait we can wait until they can no longer wait then they make the jump and then they try to make it happen but that jump is made hastily without a very clear perspective as to how they're going to materialize their investment and then basically oh, we will see we will see as we are going along as they are doing they have, have been doing in japan but that is a very dangerous thing approach i mean in the 80s it worked because japan had something unique uh, uh a unique competitiveness that, that they could bring to the table but that advantage is gone so now it's very it's it's much more likely that that their uh, foreign investments are um, not successful so what you're talking about is uh, what you're talking about is japanese companies they do not have future goal right hmm. Why they don't have future goal? Why are they so sighted? Well, <clears throat> I, I know that, that one of us is working for a company where, where basically there are some ambitions, but it's not, I don't, I'm quite sure that's not quantified. There's quite, I'm quite sure that there is not a, a monetary goal set on the revenues and profits being uh, obtained within the next uh, five or 10 years. Um, with the clear uh, ideas of the products that they're going to develop, etc., etc. It's just okay as you're going along, you're trying to develop something without a ve without a clear objective. So you can't measure it. You can't really see are we how are we doing versus our plans because there are no plans. This is exactly the same as 1940. Japanese military, Japanese government, they didn't have long range plan. Short sighted, mm -hmm. get oil. But long right. range, next 10 years, 20 years, every... what Asia Pacific they want to going to be, they don't have plan. Right? right? right. If, you, if you win every battle, you win the war. That's the idea. <laughs> exactly. Why? It's not only Japanese, but also any other country people, this kind of thought is uh, <coughs> strange. Right? Right. I think so. Current Japanese government is the same. The consumption tax is the same. Are they thinking about 10 years later? Pens <laughs> pension plan? Growth plan? I think some sort of uh, problem they have very similar problems short sighted yes you told us just uh, we don't have a uh, long range goal mm. how are we going to how are we going to fix it huh? yes well I, i'm not aware of any plan for example uh, a vision of japan in 2050 and how and, and concrete measures that how what we're going to do today how we're going to make investments today in order to get there and where where do we need to be in 2020 23 25 
2030, 2040. Mm. This morning I discussed about Lactem. They they start to sell handy phone, but they invented the new uh, network technology. Really? Compete against 5G, uh, Huawei. Very strong technology, and uh, they try mm. to coordinate American government to sell this this kind of new technology. Lactem. Lactem virtualized network virtualized mobile network this is a in, they invented with uh, i don't know con contract with the american company or somewhere mm -hmm. very new technology they made very sharp offering that, that's what i i saw they they offer like uh, contracts now at the price of, of almost half of the uh, soft bank oh you know that uh, okay yeah, yeah, Docomo. Yeah, yeah, I, I actually, I, I got this offer and I was actually interested <laughs> in changing area. Yeah. This is a, you know, sort of long range plan. Right. Right, but yeah, not, not only the technology, <coughs> but also what you want to achieve with this technology, where you want to penetrate, which markets, when. What percentage? Who do you need in order to get there? Uh, how are you going to allocate your resources? How are you going to fund it? All these questions need to answer. Mm. Yeah, Japanese companies are still likely to have incremental plan. <laughs> Our future will be, uh, our future is supposed to be on the extension line of what we are doing now. So what what we could think about our future is making something better so that we could achieve something better then it's gonna be our our future. So that example the Effect is not the same as its exception. So what Lockdown did might be uh, based on a long time uh, plan, and it's not incremental achievement. So they I have had some clear vision to get there. I don't know. It's a very interesting, actually. I, I don't know if you we you noticed what they were were saying in the video. They were uh, talking about Japanese society when there is there is okay. There's the emperor. And then you have uh, uh, I don't know uh, nine million gods and uh, minor gods, and then uh, so basically, and then you have like the largest group is our ancestors. So basically, Japanese society is, is a is a continuum of uh, Japanese society, your existence is basically a continuum of, uh, of of Japan and its history. So you're part of that. So it's very really logical for people with that mindset to think incremental, because basically they are building up, uh, they're building on top of what their ancestors have created, and therefore it's very logical to think incremental. Whereas in a Western society, we believe that, okay, life ends. So we are here, we come basically with nothing, we end with nothing, and it's up to us to create a legacy, which is very much ego-driven, very <clears throat> individualistic, but very conducive for people to think out of the box, be unique, and create something that will put a mark on history uh, without it we just perish and we are gone. Whereas in Japan, you are automatically part of history because you are basically born out of history. Mm. So th maybe that's part of the explanation as to why Western society seems to be more preoccupied by creating new challenges, marking your impact on history, because without it, basically, your life was more or less useless. Why are you talking a little bit sophisticated? Why don't you more simply, <laughs> simply explanation? I don't understand. 
<laughs> okay. Um, so, so I'm trying to, to put the, the uh, ideas of incremental improvement and fundamental uh, innovation mm. into a cultural perspective. Mm. So why would it be that maybe in Japan we don't think very long term and say this is where we want to be, but have a tendency to say, okay, this is where we are and this is how we're going to improve. It's because Japanese culture tells us that basically there's a continuum um, so basically, we live with our ancestors. So we, we we are basically we are because of our history, and we will as after we die, we will become part of of a Japanese society as as ancestor. This is what don't so un- don't, don't understand what you mean. Incremental, you know, enhancement or development for the culture. Right. What does it mean, culture? What kind of incremental, you know, uh, progress? Okay, J- Japanese culture says that you are part of you're part of history. Your existence is building on top of history. You are part of a society that, and and uh, you are um, a descendant uh, of your ancestors, who still play a very important role in Japanese uh, contemporary society, right? So. It's very logical in that context because you are part of a continuum that you think incremental. So, wh- what do you mean incremental? What, what kind of incremental? What are you talking? Basically, basically, you take what is and try to improve on that. That's incremental. So, you yeah. Wh- wh- what is it? What is impro- improving? Are the culture oh, culture well, aspect? Let, okay, let's say kaizen idea. Or you're going to gradually improve the, uh, you're going to uh, create growth of your company like every year two or three percent. That's your goal. Basically, you have you have uh, inherited you 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 got this company, and you're trying to grow this every year to three uh, percent. So you're not going to say, okay, I want to be like. Uh, create this uh, global network of organizations that will uh, uh, take a 25% market market share in this industry. No, you have this company. You're going to grow this two three percent. You're you're uh, you're taking um, uh, custody of of this uh, of this uh, company, and you make you take good care of it. Basically, you inherited this from your ancestors. Now, in a Western mindset, your life is only 75 years, maybe 80 years long. Now, you need to make an impact. Nothing, we believe that we are the drivers of our destiny, right? Mm. So it's up to us to create that legacy. That means that if you want to leave an impact, you do not rely on anyone else, not on your ancestors, not on anything. It's up to you to make a difference. Mm. So in that mindset, I think it's more logical that people come up with radical new ideas with very clear targets that can be super ambitious uh, and take that target as something that drives them. So they, they, they are driven, let's, let's put it this way, they are driven by the future, their objectives. Whereas Japanese people are more driven from the past, incremental versus object oriented. Mm. Objective oriented, <laughs> not object oriented, objective oriented. Mm. So we need to draw the future of mm. our own. Right. I, I think that. If you want to communicate effectively with the Western, you need to be aware that you usually our thinking starts, okay, where do we want to be in five years from now, 10 years from now? What do we want to achieve? And usually those goals are ambitious. And then the next step is, okay, what do we need to do in order to get there? And why don't we get started today? Exactly. I'm always talking about like everybody. You need to much more focus on 10 years later, not next year. Yeah, but it's not uh, actually, I am feeling it's not easy. I'm suffering uh, 
are facing the difficulties to do that kind of things in in a company. I made some try. Uh, the try is to say um, we better focus on ten years later, at least when uh, we're thinking about our long term or mid term plan. As I want to see that one, but yeah, normally I, I was reacted to that, like shutting up. So we are leaving. We we have to leave this year and next year and two year three years, and we don't know. Nobody knows what happens in in five years and in, in ten years. It's not. It's not meaningless to think about seriously uh, something in the in the ten years from now. Hmm. Right, but if you in that context, you will never. It's not responsible to make any investment overseas because the risks are higher, and uh, you will need time to actually learn uh, and and overcome your initial investments before you can become successful. So if you if you refuse to think long term, there is no way that you will be able to justify a a long term foreign investment. Yeah, so this is my this is my challenge. So if if we have just a uh, short term uh, range of our plan, for example, in two years and three years at maximum, then as as a re result, what we could do in the practice uh, in doing the daily business is just uh, today and this month or next month in quarterly or at longest yearly right but if you so, if you yeah, think yeah. If, if you think about that then if you if you need to maximize your profit within the year then there is no way you can make any long-term investment no right? but that's just that's just the cost yeah, it's just plus the thinking, thinking a long term vision is not creating the benefit. This is what they, what they say as a reason that we, I, I need to check out. All right, a long term share, shareholder value, maybe. I mean, uh, if you want to be in operations in 10 years time, they usually that doesn't happen overnight and if it needs to happen overnight it's usually with much higher risks um, because you will need to jump into un uh, uncharted waters and hope that you will be able to swim yeah so i think that is conducive environment in japanese company to yeah. having just target of making something better All right Yeah. Yeah, I think it's ingrained in in, uh, in Japanese culture. But I, so you said our our nature uh, of of Japanese people, or is is being made by history that. Good question. I don't know the answer. This needs to be answered by Japanese people. The only thing is that what I see in Japan today, it looks like this is uh, this has been around for a while. Mm -hmm. So we could be people. Sorry, I didn't hear your question, Dr. Uh, so So you, your idea is Japanese to be different? Yeah, I, I, I really believe that the, the Japanese framework of the way that uh, uh, people who grown up in Japanese culture, they think fundamentally different from people in Western culture. Not better or worse, but different. That makes communication hard. 
it's not just the English language. I think it's it's basically uh, th there's a different reality, different viewpoint that people are not aware of. Sorry, what what the issue they are talking about among Japanese? No, no, we're, we're talking about, okay, long-term perspective versus long-term perspective and basically what, what can we do to uh, bridge the communication gap. Um, and uh, so, so where, where does it come from? That's the first question. If you want to solve it, you need to know where it comes from. Um, where does it have uh, its origins? Um, and basically, I don't know the answer to that. Then uh, the, the only thing that I do know is that there seems to be a fundamental uh, difference in reality from the eyes of a Westerner versus that of a Japanese person. Oh, with the Westerners? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sakura Miyoka. Well, this is the uh, only you, uh, is, I think, uh, between among uh, Westerners and Japanese. You, you have one solution. Well, I think that everybody, once they live in a foreign country for a long time, they become aware of uh, not only of the foreign culture, but also of themselves and start to question yourself. I think that is something that you learn while you are overseas and you start to realize that maybe you you have difficulties communicating, you have difficulties, uh, maybe you get uh, impatient sometimes and you think, what, what are these people thinking about? Then at the same time you realize that they're doing something very well, so you start to question yourself and when you do that, you become aware of your own the relativeness of your own thinking <coughs> always but <coughs> if you're not forced to do that if you're not put yourself into the situation it's very tempting to say to to think that what you're thinking <coughs> is correct that that is the only way um and this is the right way I'm, I'm, we are discussing with you for past five years and uh, similar issues <coughs> keep mm. going every week mm. but always we still have gap you know <laughs> <laughs> never ending you know continuously uh, di difficulty to communicate each other different opinions right mm. but what is the basic uh, gap why do, do we have uh, always have gaps among us? Like uh, for past five years, or oh, five years we're spending multicultural, multicultural, what's the difference among American Westerners? I'm just always discussing about it. How, how come we, we do, do not, we cannot close gap? Well, in order to close the gap, we need to change. We cannot change Japanese society so easily. We cannot change Western society so easily. Also, do people want to change? That's, that's, uh, <coughs> uh, that, that, I mean, basically, we are observers. And I don't think we are actively changing things. If we want to change things, we will need to actually start taking steps in order to execute these changes according to some certain kind of objective so then first my first question would be speaking as a true westerner what is our objective yeah. what do you mean what, what is your objective what, for what kind of objective <laughs> no, well, maybe for UNO school or for for japanese society as a whole i mean what is our what is your, what is our objective do we want to become a leader in the world or do we want to maintain the Japanese society? What is our objective? Uh, by the way, why why do not overseas people want to discuss about coronavirus with Japanese? <laughs> I think we discussed that already for an hour. 
Uh, Why they they try to avoid discussion with Japanese uh, the outbreak of because, coronavirus in okay, Japan? So I, I will I will tell you again. I think because we are we are expecting if we talk with somebody, we want to hear what their master plan is. We want to hear what their objectives are, how they are, what their master plan is, and how they are implementing it, and where they are experiencing problems. Now these are things that a, Jap- a, reg- a Japanese person probably cannot answer because there is no master plan. No. Therefore, there is no need to discuss it or answer <laughs> Japanese. Now, based on us, does it could it have could it have expectation of right. any answer from Japanese side? Because they don't have. They think we we don't have the plan, master plan. They they, they in Japan they I I think that we believe that they play it by ear. They kind of like they, oh they, they look at things and say oh well a little bit to the left a little bit to the right and if if they do have a plan they probably copied it. I'm going to tell you the reason why. Oh why? Not COVID nineteen, not World War Two. Everything, anytime I'm going to take dinner with Japanese. They don't have nothing. <laughs> they don't want to take dinner with them. We can talk each other. But they they have no answer. They everything. Uh, nothing. What kind of food do you like? Like food? Okay. What kind do you know? They don't have any habit or any kind of thinking approach for any kind of issues. Not more than Nikkei newspaper. So overseas people are getting bored to, to talk with Japanese. So COVID COVID nineteen they don't want to talk with Japanese. Nothing come from them, right? Well, not something that they expect. Something not something that they can copy and use for their own approach. It doesn't fit into their framework. So it's for for them. It's effectively it's useless. So, by the way, uh, the time is almost up. So, I want to continue about uh, what happened for World Two. Just you show the video. We I just sorry for t- switching to the different issues, but I need to a little <laughs> more dig detail about uh, who are they. Mm. Still, I don't, I don't get to answer why they they did attack Pearl Harbor. Still, I don't understand. Like, uh, mm. like, uh, okay. like, uh, Abe's ma- like Musk, Musk, Abe, Abe no oh, Musk. Abe, Abe Musk. Why they make decision making that kind of for six six million US dollars useless spending? I don't understand. The same as they attack Pearl Harbor. Or impal operation, the same. I don't understand why they did it. This is ja- Japanese something, Japanese unique characteristic issues behind there. So this is, I think, I want to discuss about this next week from the eyes of uh, European eyes, you know, from you. How do you think about the kind of their decision? <laughs> Very, very weird, very strange, unusual. Yeah, it can be with, huh? They must be unreasonable based on the. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. So how how do you do you see this kinds of kind of incident? Japanese did make it. You are in, intermediary among European and Japanese. Basically, this is this is a historical question. So, I think uh, I will try to answer that from the historical concepts, um, economic circumstances, sociological circumstances, political circumstances, because Japanese people are not unlogical. We need to we need to study their circumstances mm. because it was it was given into a certain th- these kind of decisions are made into a certain context mm. uh, we, we, so we need to get to understand the, the actors at the time uh, so that is what makes history interesting yeah that might yeah that might be making it reasonable 
By the way, you try. Why not you try to find that another couple of video <laughs> to explain? I still have like thirty videos to, that you haven't. To explain you. your your thoughtful background. <laughs> okay, and uh, let's right. going to finalize today. Kimoto, you want to say something? Uh, uh, to uh, yeah, I want to. Say. No, Kimoto. Today I have nothing to say. How about Yano? Uh, Finally, you spent four hours, then you, so you can say something. Yeah, actually, actually, I checked. Uh, I spend uh, three point five gigabytes. Wow. <laughs> so. You have to reduce your working time this week. So you, you spend a lot of money. Sorry, I said you, you, you spend too much data, so you have to reduce your work time this week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much for today. Okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, well, how about... Uh, no, 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 Ed. No, how about you next Monday? Yeah, exactly. That's what I want to ask because I know you're always going to ask that. <laughs> Are you going to do uh, next Monday? Yeah, that's fine. Actually, Monday, I think I'm I'm good. So Monday morning uh, is okay for me. Okay, twenties. Yeah. Takashi will join. Yeah, we're at home, so. Okay. Yeah, okay. So thank you very much for joining yeah, today. Yano. Yeah, no. Yep. You you will join <laughs> next Monday. <laughs> <laughs> he cannot wake up in the morning. <laughs> right? Uh, I, I can, but it's too too much. Skype is heavy. <laughs> oh, you are at Karizawa. Yes. Okay. Up to you. Okay. Thank you very much for jo joining today. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Uh,